All right, so today we're gonna do a review on a new tech Q cart, but we're gonna do it out in nature. This is something out of the unusual for Stunner Minions vlogs and Minion vlogs, but <clears throat> it's kind of chilly out here in Washington. Really. Weather is still sunny, it's still nippy. It said 45 in the car. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm cold. But <clears throat> we out here. We're gonna try another cart because in the comments people were asking for it. How are we supposed to get there? Come here on one of our days off and get an inflatable thingy. We're gonna have to travel. But we out here in Washington, Ording. If you guys ever come down here, I've been here with my dad. This is where he brought me. Right now, it's kind of high up at River Point. But like I was telling my girl, over there used to be like where you'd just be able to walk and I think we would be on that back then but you know water is really strong <laughs> oh by the way we went down through South Perry to get here um, but we picked up our local Red Bulls you know and now it's not healthy but cotton mouth needs you know just kidding but we're about to take a dab. We got the electrical nectar collector on the go. <clears throat> we got that cake icing trophy wife. And we got fruit cake from Northwest Concentrates. But we're gonna do a review and see which one will get us high and all that good stuff with the new tech cue cart we got at my local dispo that I work at by the way it's called Tokyo Snow from Sky High Gardens Terp Sauce Cart this one's testing at Total THC 75%, total CBD 0.21%, total cannabinoid 77. And then we got this Refine Mac Loud Cartridge, Premium Cartridge Extracted. Just kidding. Um, but it is testing at 
THC is 66.51, THCA 8.97. No CBD, total cannabinoids is 75.48. But like uh, the other one, an optimum and tech Q, tech IQ or whatever, how you pronounce that. Um, the tech Q cart got us done more than the actual 94% testing as uh, THC. But like I say, numbers don't matter. But let's get to smoking. She's about to take this fruit cake. He's blown it away. <laughs> I'm gonna take this cake icing, trophy wife. Did you tell them the flavors we got? Yeah. Lip. Let's get to it. My dad found a skull headed rock here before. But just like last time, we got that Sky High Gardens Tekken IQ cart by Infuse. Today's sponsored, just kidding, it's not really sponsored. <laughs> but um, I wish. Uh, but we're doing Tokyo Snow. Flour, concentrate, single region sauce, cartridge in the sea cell. Genetics are Habaichi Supreme <laughs> and the menthol, and it's a hybrid. Effects are happy, uplifting, and social. I guess we're gonna be social. <laughs> the terpenes are Califlinini, Minilonabu. I don't know how to say those words. Don't judge me. But smell is earthy cookies, petrol, and grape. Eee! What? It's gonna smell like gas. Earthy cookies, gas, and grape. But cured over a month. Lights, 100% LED. Water, dry, nutrients mixed in house. High propicity, pre-based growing medium. All these little gadgets that it says. But check it out. Tokyo snow. Dang. Somebody must have stole them or something. Remember last time it wasn't like that? Dang. Extra protection. But let's screw this on. Comment down below if you are the type of person to sit there and keep your little toppers. I don't know about you guys, but I am mainly because COVID. Just kidding. But nowadays, um, nah, mainly to, to keep every little dust and little particles. Some people have it situations where it gets clogged and yes, it does happen. I don't know what y'all be doing, but lint gets into it. 
Save your little toppers if you guys don't want lid in it. It's literally what it is. Which one? Do the Mac first and then the other one. Okay, we got this optimum battery extracts. Oh, you don't have to push no button. So let's go. We gotta say how it tastes, rate it, and if you would get it again. Or which one's your top one. <coughs> so how does it taste to you? <coughs> that is loud. <coughs> And what would you rate it? Well, terpenes on here are 5.40%. I don't think this one has terpenes. But it is a terp sauce battery cook, so. So what we'll would you see. rate it? Honestly, I'd give it an eight. And would you get it again? If I have the money. <laughs> How long do you guys hold it in for? Should we time it? No. <coughs> and now the other. <coughs> Another hit. Weak. Just kidding. Then. <coughs> Rate it. A seven. Would you get it again? Just here and there, all the time. And what is? It? How do you think of the taste? I wouldn't want to smoke it all the time. It's loud, huh? Yeah. Got it on the level. Well, on a G mag. <laughs> I don't think it's a G mag. Or maybe. Maybe a G mag battery from the Migos. Not really Migos, but G Migos. I don't know how to really pronounce it. But I got this battery as a sample. Let's just, sell. Let's just say that. But we got it on the terpy uh, level. Um, I believe it's like a three point something uh, volt wattage. Uh, and it also has another level setting where it's more like a reboost, more of a little bit hotter temp. But like, you know, gotta have that terps. I'm pretty stunned. <laughs> so the taste. 
They got the earthy right there. Mm. Um, the rating it? How it said it, it was like earthy, kind of like gassy. You can taste that. Like, definitely earthy for sure. Honestly, I ain't, I mean, like, just like in the previous one, the flower itself, like when you open the container, you get that smell, you know? If you guys are real smokers and stunners and just all the above, you guys know what I'm talking about. As soon as you open that jug of uh, exotic fucking whatever the fucking case, if not really whatever the case, but like when you smell a glass container of a jug full of flour, they they matched it with this. So like what the, would you rate it? Honestly, a 9.5. And would you get it again? To get me high, yes. Uh, I can feel the socialness coming because I can talk a lot <laughs> and I feel stoned. It is a hybrid. So how do you feel? Because usually when you don't smoke at all, you talk a lot. And you just took a hit of that and it's making you talk a lot. How do you feel about that? It's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to really say it. I mean, it could have just been like how people say it. As soon as you see it or read it, you're going to think like it. I don't know. If you guys tasted this, you guys would say it's earthy too. But another hit? Huh? Another hit? Oh yeah, you need to. No, for you. you. Take another one. Blinker? Sure. On both or just one? Just one. Here, so they can see. It lights up. BBLG BBLG <laughs> Only blinkers But you gotta try it <clears throat> You guys gotta comment and like down below We gotta pimp her up to get a blinker Come on now What do you think though? It's earthy like you said I'd give it a nine. Spot on, close on. It's just a taste. Yeah. The taste is what gets you, but the other one was exactly like the card it said. I would go towards the other one in this one, to be honest. Because of the taste? Mm -hmm. But it does get you stoner. Yeah, it does. I would spend more money on this than that. Me, to be honest. Because this provides more of a thicker cloud, so you don't have to smoke as much. <coughs> See? <coughs> Do you know what I mean? <coughs> like this. This is this. <coughs> this oil consistency in here is so thick. This is also thick. So this oil is thick, but this oil is thick. If you guys can tell a difference in the consistencies, this one is lighter and it looks more like actual oil, as with this one looks more of like a resin terp sauce type extracted. Finish your cart within like maybe a couple days. 
go ahead and get it with the refund. No biggie. But I do recommend still to get the tech cue carts. I said definitely gonna do more reviews on them. It's just the the only uh, time and reason why we kind of lacked on them is because, bro, these were like maybe 25 miles away from us. Don't get me wrong, I'm willing to travel, but I'm really busy. Like, if you guys happen to know or see, I mean, I don't really be posting as much, but when I do, I try to post the best content I can whenever I can. You already know, but um got three jobs i won't say i actually have three jobs because i don't really work at the part on call one but i really do have two jobs and i barely have enough time to sit there and she doesn't even got enough time for me but she gets mad but she got a job too so we're making that bank and just like people sit there and think that I'm just making money to smoke it, whatever the fucking case may be, it's not really the case. Yes, it is my medicine and yes, it's my recreational shit. And I would rather always, always would sit there and smoke rather than drink. Always. I just... We're stunners. <laughs> but... <clears throat> Comment down below anything you guys want to see, whatever. Should Let us know. Let us know what you guys want to see, anything. I'll post whatever the uh, content you guys want. I'm trying to get more out there and not necessarily become fame, but if you guys really know me, I'm trying to get my story out there and sooner or later try to get my parents up here. Um, ever since I was young, within the age of 14, Here's the social. <laughs> but when I was the age of 14, um, my dad got deported. And I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's basically, I'm Mexican American and my parents are illegal immigrants here. And back then in 1995, my own uncle went and deported my dad, which is his brother, all because they went, or my uncle went and assume that my dad was touching my cousin i don't know what it is but that wasn't the case because if that were to be the case how come my dad never forced me to do shit with him like i was a daddy's little girl i always went with him to go anywhere i wanted with him because i was just attached to him it wasn't anything sexual or anything and then i'm getting to this age where i'm adding up my own puzzle pieces you know, just to see where I get my dad. And it's like, if that were to be the case, then realistically, how come my own uncle, <clears throat> like the guy that went and deported him, does it, how come he doesn't have any social socialness with his kids? Like, it doesn't add up. So, like, did he do something or what? You know, like, I don't know. But if you guys are trying to sit there and help me out, Please like, share, subscribe, anything. I'm not trying to get money from you guys. I mean, whatever you guys want to donate, fuck, I don't care. But I'm not sitting there asking you guys to do nothing. Like, I'm just trying to get my story out there and get some help, get some guidance, and move on. Like, people want to sit there and help me out, go ahead. Not, you know, fuck you, but I came it this far. Teachers were telling me I wasn't graduating. And I went and crossed that stage and best fucking middle finger ever, so. Y'all can sit there and just fuck off. I'm doing my own thing. You guys like my content, go ahead and share it. If you guys don't, well, tough luck. This is what my life is. But sooner or later too, um, doing some maybe views, or not views, but like, uh, vo uh, vlogness, uh, not really vlogness, but shootings down in Mexico. Um, like I said, my family's down in Mexico, so I do go there more consistently, mainly too, because I have to work, so it's really hard for me to get PTO time and stuff. But when I can, and we will for sure record now, 
we've been through, me and my girl have been through a lot. We have had $100,000 before because of her, but we had to sit there and move on, you know? Like, we had to do grown up things, so. That's what that Before added. Before I was even an adult. And she got kicked out at the age of 18. I don't got no family. <clears throat> but. If you guys know her stories, share it. Don't. Whatever. We'll have haters. Always will. But. We gotta keep up the grind. You know? I hate to say it, but I do work at Joint Rivers, and I work there now. After I see so many like pictures of Nipsey there, like I wish I knew him, and he's such a motivational speecher. Like I'm trying to sit there. He's like my Martin Luther King, I guess. <laughs> I would just say that R.I.P. to him. It's sad what had to happen to him, all because of haters, but it's all it is. He let his wings sprung and now, all over. yep, but hustle and motivate, you know, but like I said, we're trying to sit there and post uh, videos just like Mr. THC, Yo Kev, all them, shout out to Manuel Blends, he's a real one, gang gang BBLG, you know, out here in Washington, you know, already. I'll pop one just for you. <clears throat> Smoking on some Tokyo Snow Manny. I don't know if you like to be called that, but blends. <laughs> Talking about my life makes me stressed. But, <coughs> but big also shout out to Blends. He's been a real one. He's one of the ones to also make me sit there and grind much. Because, I don't know. I can just imagine his daughter right now. Because, like, Just from hearing those little aspects of what he's been through. He could have been like any of anybody else. But he grew up. Anybody always has to grow up if they choose to. It always has to be a choice. Whether people like it or not, it's a choice. And you have you yourself have to push yourself to it. It's sad, but Sometimes you really have to just do it by yourself. Hey, an eagle. Record it on your phone. You get it? I didn't get a video, but I got it. But got angels watching us. <clears throat> yeah. Your grandma is my brother. My grandma's and my brother. It wouldn't we don't know either, but we said it was a boy. But like I said, just hustling over here, out here in Washington, you know. If you guys really know me, or whatever, I'm not really famous, not really trying to, but whatever happens, happens for a reason, you know. Like, I wanna sit there and get my family here. That's my main goal. I'm not asking for a billion of fucking dollars. I'm not asking for fucking fame. I'm not sitting there asking to sit there and be on anybody's shit, none of that none of that i'm only trying to be out there to get my story heard to see who can help me out my dad got deported when i was the age of 14 bro i am a girl 
whether it doesn't look like it or not, I am. <laughs> but I'm just a real stoner trying to hustle, trying to get my fucking family up here. Like, that's my story. When yet everybody else is out here sitting there trying to be famous, trying to be this and that, spending money retardedly. Like, yeah, it is nice and stuff to spend money. Fuck. I'm not regretting it, but... I wish I could go back. Lesson learned, though. But... Now we're here working and trying to get my family. But like, share, comment, subscribe. Bring more family or er, more peeps into the to their stoner minions. I don't have a squad yet, so. But we're just stoner minions out here. Out here in Washington, stoner minions gang. But you already know. Stay tuned for more. If you guys liked it, comment, like, share, subscribe, whatever. You already know. But stay tuned. We out.